Today we're going to talk a bit about customer relationship management and what it does and what your software is trying to accomplish by having a package that does your customer relationship management for you. So customer relationship management really involves everything to do with how your customer relates to you as a company and corporation. You're, you want to increase customer loyalty and you want to increase the retention. You want to keep them coming back because both of those things then increase an organization's profitability. The number one challenge that, co that companies always have simply is getting customers and getting the customers to continue buying. It is a whole lot less expensive to keep a customer coming back than it is to try to capture more customers. So what you want to do then is you want to analyze your customers based on three different criteria. First, how recently has a customer purchased their items? Second, how frequently does a cursed customer come back and purchase items? And then, you know, how much does a customer spend on each purchase? So the larger amount a customer spends on each purchase, the more profitable the individual purchases are. And how frequently a customer comes back tells you that you have to do less marketing in order to keep that and retain that customer. So RFM, recency, frequency, and the monetary value of their purchases becomes very important. Now, as we look at the data that's being captured by the customer relationship management software, of course, we can do customer reporting and identification. Now, that is by far the lowest business value and it takes the least amount of time. So on this chart, what we have is increased business value up the left-hand side and increased time going down the right, across the right side. So the next level of data is data analysis. There is where you can segment your customers into various product lines that they like, various demographics, various areas of the country, uh, however you divide it to analyze and figure out where are your most profitable customers? Where do I want to spend my marketing money? Where do I want to devote time and attention in order to get the most profitable customers to both come to the company and to stay as a continuous customer? Now, more time can be devoted and you can get into customer predictive analytics. Now, predictive analytics, of course, add the greatest amount of business value. They take more time and devotion to generate, but the increased benefit to the business can be extremely worthwhile. Predictive analytics, then, what it does is it segments your customers and then predicts what they would do based on different scenarios that can be offered. Different product lines, different improvement to your current product lines, different marketing to various areas or segments of your customer population. So predictive analytics really boosts your ability to focus on the areas that are most important based on customers in your company. The software actually takes data from several different places. As you can see on the screen, the front office pieces of this are your, your sales systems, what sales are being generated, your marketing systems. In other words, what marketing is being done to your customer set and then your customer service systems. You know, how many returns are we getting? What products are being returned? What are the kind of complaints or issues that are being resolved by customer service? Um, it also captures what customers are saying that are good about your products. A good customer service system, of course, has input that they want from the customers. And if the customers willingly give that input and it's good input, it can provide direction also. Now you put that in what they call a collaborative CRM system. Collaborative meaning you can put other input in it, like what happens if I market in a certain way? What happens if I direct my attention to a certain customer segment or improve a certain product or bring on a different product line that may service a customer uh, whole that we've been observing that our customers would love to stay with us and buy more things if we just offered another segment that, that retained those customers. So 
in your data warehouse and your CM system, what's happening then is the CM, CRM system is bringing that data. You also have the ability to do some data mining on that as well. So the CRM system will integrate all that data and allow those various views of the customer. Okay, so here's another view of CRM uh, message channels. Now, what's important here is the list on the right. The list on the right shows you that some things are not generally um, easy to put in a database. Like, how do, you, how do you database a voicemail call or another type of voice call with a customer? These things might be difficult to database. They might devote some software that takes speech and puts it into text so that your system can then look at the text for keywords and, and phrases that, that allow you to do analysis. So devotion has to be spent um, to extract good meaning out of some of these items. Um, different meetings, customer service calls, Twitter, if your, if your products are mentioned on Twitter or your company is mentioned on Twitter, Twitter or Facebook. All of these different communication channels deal with customers and should be brought into your CRM system so that they can be analyzed as well. Now, a good customer relationship management system will also take from some significant areas of your company, such as the accounting system or order fulfillment or inventory, and of course, your customer service system, which we've also mentioned. So all of these systems push data into the CRM software and the CRM software is then adapted to spit out information, uh, decision-making information that allows executives and middle management to make um, different changes of course based on what customers are wanting so that you can give customers what they want. Because if you give customers what they want, they like to purchase what they want and therefore they keep coming back because they're happy with the products that you tend to offer. So basically CRM is a way to focus your company such that it builds a body of happy and devoted customers. We know several companies that have done an incredibly good job of that. You know, Apple Corporation, it seems to be the, the consummate example of a company that caters to its individual audiences. They're not, they don't have the largest audience. I mean, they don't sell the most cell phones, for example, but their customer base is incredibly devoted to their products. And rightly so, they do a very, very good job in their customer relationship management. And that is the key. If we could all emulate the customer relationship management expertise and acumen of an Apple corporation, all of our companies would be top-notch and well-performing companies. So if you like what you heard, hit that like button for me and help grow the channel by subscribing. And we'll look forward to seeing you again later. Thanks.